about that. Rangers go there last night. No That's Erling Haaland, for sure. But uh, they took to the field and they went at Dortmund and they won it 4-2. So they're in the driving seat. They are. And, you know, it's not, this is not alien territory for Rangers because if you look at some of the results under Stephen Gerrard into Europe, you know, they got results against Benfica, albeit draws. They beat Galatasaray. So they do operate at a level. Now, you, the level that they operate may not necessarily translate into beating Borussia Dortmund away from home. You factor in the Odin Haaland miss, but notwithstanding that, they're still a very formidable outfit. And the result that they've got, but look at Rangers' current, you know, uh, outlook, which is Celtic have suddenly stolen the march. They're on top of the Premier yep, League. Yep. It looks like this is a very challenging time because the last thing that Rangers want to see is Celtic winning the Premier League and getting all that benefit of going straight into the group stages of the Champions League. So this is a great result. I also think it's a shot in the arm for, for Von Bronkos because I think he needs that right now. Now, of course, when you bring them back to Ibrox, people will think this is going to be corrected by Dortmund having Haaland available again and so on and so forth. But they're going to walk into a lion's den. They're going to walk into a cauldron of atmosphere with those fans being at it, on it and across it. Yeah. So I think you have to give absolute chapeau to Rangers for that performance. Absolutely. It, it's great they're talking about that result all over Europe because commercially it's what Scottish football needs. Reputationally, uh, it it's what it needs. Of course it does. And yes, and again, going back to the point I'm making about Scottish teams going straight into the Champions League uh, group stages, which by the way was an outrage didn't happen in the first place and you have to look at the Scottish authorities and say, why in God's name did you lay yourself to only ever get into the qualifying stages? Mm. But bottom lining it, this is good. This is good for Scottish football again. It's a re-emergence. Obviously, you want the drag effect. You don't just want Rangers and Celtic. You want to see the other teams being dragged out. So we yep. see a much more uh, ambitious and expansive Scottish Premier League. But notwithstanding that, in isolation, that is a great result for the team. For, for you know, you've got Aaron Ramsey in that mix now. You've got a lot more That's right. for Rangers that gives you calls to be optimistic. Yeah, I mean, many would say, Simon, it's about time. I mean, it, you have to go back to 2008, the UEFA Cup final. Uh, Rangers here in Manchester, ironically, against Zenit. Yep. Uh, that was the last time a Scottish club reached a European final. That is too long, isn't it? If these two are really giants in the game, Rangers and Celtic, yeah. then show us. Yes, you know, let's, be, let's also be objective about it because the, the teams from the Premier League have taken this tournament quite seriously and you've seen some of the big sides that have got huge budgets being competitive in this tournament. So with the greatest will in the world, whilst it is too long for Scottish football, you also have to be objective in the fact that they are comparing themselves financially. They're minnows financially against the... Pa not because they haven't got the support base, not because they haven't got the emotional investment. They just don't have the finances that, the, that some of the teams that have been in it, like Arsenal and Chelsea have. For sure. It's got to be stressed, Simon. It's only half-time, isn't it? With, yes. With, with Rangers and Dortmund. Yeah, but you'd have this half-time every day of the week and twice on Sunday, wouldn't you? <laughs> That's right. Uh, Celtic maybe wouldn't uh, against Bodo Glimt. 3-1 uh, down from their match. Mm. Uh, and they were at home last night uh, up in the east end of Glasgow so they've got it all to do just ask Mourinho about those Norwegian opponents because Roma side. fell foul yeah. of them didn't they Simon this morning one other headline story coming out in football VAR is set to be rolled out across the EFL and the WSL uh, from season 23-24 